Whip. I just wait with the luck at you still son. I didn't know a stagecoach came out this souls, way. ladies. What kind of stagecoach? Looking good. Hello, Damn. Man. I can't get on my horse properly. Is there a stagecoach? What's going on? Mm, I didn't know there was one. Mm. Matt, can I tell you about the two things I hate most in life? Number one, people that grow swamp herb. Number two, people who customize their horse but only put saddlebags on it. Right, it feels, it feels loud here. I'm going back down the stairs. I just wouldn't buy a mangy. I see a ladder over there, Eustace. Should we do roof inspections? Can you guys put signs up and be like... See if there's any electric lights been strung through the roofs? I can see inside up there. Mm, how do you do? Howdy. Sorry, I'm just looking for Mr. Parker. I don't suppose your name is Parker. Uh, no, I'm Eustace. Eustace Dustinberg. Uh, uh, this is my wife, El Elvani Dustinberg. How do? How do y'all? My name is Fanny, Fanny Wrangler. Hello, Fanny. We're practicing umbrella jumps. I was seeing if it would hold me upright when I jumped off the building. Ooh, I tried that before. It didn't really help much. When no. I fell off the waterfall. I have to ask. Uh, that that's a lovely coat. Uh, what is it made out of? Oh, it's just cloth. Oh, it's got so yeah. many nice little different designs and colors in it. I know, right? It cost my pretty penny too from the store, but Ooh. it was worth it. It looks really nice. Thank you. I love your dress, Miss. Oh, thank you very much. My I remember hat. like that in pink. My hat is made out of a wolf that I stomped to death. Yeah, she stomped five of them. Well, four of them. Four. Damn. Four, and the fifth one ran away in fear. In shame, yeah. I love Stom a woman that can protect herself. I know, I do too. I like the sound of that. Yeah, she bought these special uh, shoes. Uh, they're wolf stomping shoes. Mm. They, uh, they sold them to me as shoes that keep you out of the mud. Let me see if I can get upstairs here. Uh, over uh, here, maybe. There is something you can stand on to show the shoes. I do believe I can see them. Yes, I see them. They have a nice heel to them. They do. They have a really tall wooden heel. Mm. They're very... They said, oh, these will keep you out of the mud. You know, when you're in black water, they try to sell you stuff that's for the swamp. They said, these, true. these will keep you out of the mud. And I said, oh, that sounds nice. Well, I didn't realize just how sturdy they were when it came to the wolves till I murdered them. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lady uses everything at her disposal. Do you use what you got? Got mm -hmm. an umbrella? You see if that'll hold you upright. What is your opinion on this modern stuff, like above me, these electric lights? How do you feel about electricity and all that stuff? Well, you know, when I first heard about it, I thought it was the devil's work, really. Yeah, yeah. I was scared to walk near them or under them, because, you know, mm -hmm. I hear all sorts of rumors and such. Like, I knew a feller who walked under one, and it busted above him, and he died the next day. Not but apparently that. that was due to unrelated reasons. Had some to do, I don't know, with the pack of wild dogs tearing them apart or something. I've heard that with all these wires, wires, wires everywhere, that the water can drip onto those wires and the electricity can get in the water. And then oh. when it drips down, it can get on you. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Somebody's going to get hurt. 
Someone's gonna get injured one of these days. I have my umbrella just in case the water starts dropping. I also don't like the harshness of the lights, and I'm trying to keep them out of my eyes. You know, it does wonders for your skin, too, to keep that alabaster skin, you know, past the steam. Yeah, keep the sun away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So whereabouts are you, are you gents from? We're from the town of San Denis. Oh, San Denis. Yeah, I used to come from there as well. I mean, I came from there, but recently yeah. I've called Blackwater my home. Oh, you're staying in Blackwater now? Mm-hmm. It's definitely a different pace of life and whatnot. There's a lot it of chaotic is. stuff going over in San Denis. San Denis has emptied. I don't know what happened. I think everyone died. Probably. Due to all it's... the chaos, drama, and confusion going on over there. It is. It's all the electricity. It's killing people. Then it's not telling us. Yeah, there's uh, something going you on. You don't think it's a conspiracy? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just don't trust the stuff. You know, mm. we we had we had the gas for so long, and it has its dangers and its, you know, no, its negativity. But at the same time, it's not hard on the eyes like all this electrical stuff. I just don't trust this new stuff. Oh, I quite agree with you, too. Every time I'm in the clothing store, you know, selecting myself an outfit, yeah. I find that the this unnatural light, you know, it casts an unnatural <sighs> hue upon my skin. Whereas, you know, the flame of a candle will do wonders for your complexion. It will, it will. Oh, You're nice. not squinting your eyes all the time and wrinkling the edges of your eyes. Mm, yeah, I quite agree. A nice warm glow from a candle is it's always wonderful. It truly is. Somehow we found one of the only electric lights in town. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's so few here, but there's just a few right in this area. They're starting to electrify the whole place, though. Oof. Yeah. You know, they call that progress, but, you know, I don't know if some things are worth exploring, really. I think it's going to fade from fashion. It'll fall out of fashion, and the next thing you know, we'll be on to something else. They'll be powering stuff with something strange. Some kind of water or something. You never know. Gosh, you really think? I don't Same know. Same kind we drink? You, have you ever drank the water in San Denis? It tastes like the little dead fish. I'm sure oh, there's... Yes. Yeah, it's more like a soup. Like a weak broth, after you warm it up in the in the little warming area and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, it's like a hot broth that you have to carry around. A hot fish broth. I'm tired of drinking it. You know, I drank that water in Saint Denis for so long. You know, the rainbow water. Yes. I'm starting to miss it over here. Yeah. You know, the rainbow was really one of my favorite things. Really? Will you be attending yeah. the pride parade later? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we saw the flowers there. We yeah. tried to get to town early, but we're here just in time. Yeah. Yes, I dare say so. It's due to start in about an hour or so. Did you know much about it? What are oh, they supposed well, to do? I think what's going to happen is a bunch of folks, you know, who are registered with the mayor. Um, they're going to pull out their wagons and their carts. And they're going to ride around town wearing their colorful outfits. And I do hear there's going to be a judge, too. And I do hear that the best wagon is going to win $1,000. $1,000? Mm-hmm. My goodness. That's a pretty penny right there. It is. You can almost buy a wagon for $1,000. Oh, yeah. yeah, I you wish can I could buy, buy one. For $1,000. There are some that'll, that cost about 700 or 800 mm -hmm. Ooh, We're almost there. We're, we're yeah. saving up our money. We are. We're excited about a wagon someday. It's it's on a list of things that we find fashionable that other people might also. There's some really nice carriages out there too, you know? <sighs> the horse-drawn carriages with the real plush interior. You know what? look like rich folk. I know. You know what one of my favorite things is, though? What? Bathtubs. I'm seeing them more and more. People are putting them indoors now. That's really exciting. You know, back on the farm where I came from, it was just a wet rag, you know. I know. That's determination. Well, you had, you had your barrel, or you had one of those little tin buckets that you could get mm -hmm. in. That was always all right. But, you know, some of this modern stuff is, some of it's really nice. I like the idea of having water inside. That way, if it's raining or if it's snowing outside, oh, it's so much nicer. 
oh, I'm, I'm right there with you. You know, when I first came to county, or this county rather, I, were, I didn't have that much money with me, so I found myself, you know, in the river bathing with a bar of soap. And yes. you know, at that point, it was, it was getting the job done, you know, but then one day I splurged and got myself a bath, and ever since then I can't look back. Nothing beats, you know, a warm bath, oh. your own room. Back in, the day, back in the day, the bath still was popping, and now it's uh, considered the bath still. The bath still. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a bath upstairs. There's not so many people in there anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Santony has changed. I mean, it I went to Blackwater a couple months ago, and back in the day, you know, it was real bustling. There was people in and out, constant influx and outflux of folks. Now, I mean, have y'all been to Doyle's Bar? I mean, I feel, I, I hear that place is still lively. It oh, can yeah. be. Fletcher is so wonderful. He's uh, one of the uh, people that works behind the bar. Mm, I don't believe I've met him, but I know the owners, Mr. Jafarker and Mr. Britton. Oh, we saw Fletcher, I think it was last week. We've been very tired the last week, and we didn't get out a whole lot. Hmm. But we're out today. We saw a sign in San Denis that said there was going to be a parade, and that sounds so exciting to us. Oh, I do. I, do, I dare say it will be. Um, I myself am going to be on one of the wagons as well. Me and my family, we've decided to go with a pirate theme. Would y'all say that I look like a woman that could sail on the open seas and perhaps instill, instill some fear? I'm looking under your hat. Yes, I do. I do think that. I don't see I don't the, the, the feather in the back. What do y'all think better now? Is it given oh, the, uh, the illusion? That. Oh, that's a plastic it knife, isn't it? Of course, you know. This is this just a prop. It's not real. That's giving everything. I like it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I just I love like, it. I like the double pistols, too. That's nice. I figured they would, you know, give me more of a pirate look. They do. They do. Uh, I appreciate that. So, so, so what's your favorite letter in the alphabet? C. Mm, uh, I figured if you're going to be a pirate, you're going to say R. <laughs> you know what? That was clever. It'd be hard to have a, a pirate without C's, though. That's true. Let's yeah. see. Oh, I get it now. C. Now. C. Now you get it. Life on the sea. Clever folk. Oh gosh, Saint Denis is wasted on y'all. I mean, I know that y'all are such refined folk, and Blackwater is definitely a different kind of pace of life. I but like you know, it. there's a lot of folk here that you see in day in and day out. So if you want to call Blackwater your home, I, I dare say you'll find a lot of friends here. In no time. Well, that does sound exciting. Oh, there's another one. Oh, are you a pirate too? How do? Are you? I am the local blacksmith, provisioner of all things pokey. My name is Gerald. Nice to meet you. Okay, Hello, sure. Gerald. It's nice to meet you as well. My name mm -hmm. is Elviney. Elvi Elviney? Elviney Dustinbag, and this is my husband, Eustace. Well, okay, nice sure. to meet the two of you. Welcome to Blackwater. Thank you very much. We're from San Denis, but we saw that there was going to be a parade here in town mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm. And we're risking the electricity here to come over and see what kind of parade you might have. Hmm, well, I tell you what, it's going to be a mighty fine parade. We're going to have uh, some of the bestly decorated wagons in the car. <gasps> Wagons. Mm -hmm. I love wagons. We're saving money for a wagon. Yeah, we're going to get mm -hmm. there someday. We feel like that's in fashion right now. You, you know, running was in fashion for a while. People were running around everywhere. But now I think wagons are more in fashion. Yep. I feel like I feel like the uh, the way things lean changes so quickly. It does. Nope, nobody wants to mm -hmm. run anymore. That's but, true. We're positive they're getting rid of electricity. It's going to fall out. It's going to fall out of fashion. I give it two more weeks, and then it'll be done. Oh, I, I, there was a poster over in St. Denis. They're doing one of those silent movies. They are. They're really doing, now. Well, it, it didn't say silent. It just said that they were doing some kind of, some kind of show. I'm not sure what it was. Mm -hmm. We do little shadow shows sometimes. We stand in front of the projector and give a little shadow show. We're still well, practicing. We don't know if it'll take off. It's not it's, very fashionable yet. Yeah, is that like one of the shows that you can see it from the saloon window if you stand in the street? 
Ooh. You know, there are some of those that happen, too. No? Are you looking in the upstairs windows of the brothels and stuff? There's a shadow show on the curtains sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll that I... Uh, I thought that was that it. still I painted their windows uh, so nobody would ask for a refund uh, looking in through the windows as you're yeah. taking a bath. Yeah, we, we assumed, oh, look, they've painted the windows out. I wonder why. And I told Eustace, I said it so they won't ask for any refunds. <laughs> you know, when some says, I didn't get to see everything I thought I was going to get to see looking through these windows. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean... Here's the thing, like, that could be stifling somebody else's business, right? Yeah, it could. There's other mm -hmm. people out there who want to do stuff and have mm -hmm. fun in life. Mm -hmm. If I want to back my card up, lay down into it, and just look up at the stars and the reflections off the windows, why shouldn't I be able to? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's why those windows are there, right? People can just break them up if they don't want people looking through them. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. This conversation may or may not have gone a little further than I expected. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I, I like it. You're with friends. We we like modern stuff. We were talking about these new things that are going around with the putting the bathtubs indoors. Ooh. That's a new thing. Uh, see, here's the thing about the bathtubs indoors, and uh, we do it quite often in this, is just because <gasps> it's indoors doesn't mean you can't bring all your friends. That's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I mean... Indoors, more shows, all that sort of Gives thing. There's a mm -hmm. meaning to rub a dub dub uh, bathtub. Rub a dub. It does. Rub a dub tub, five people in the tub. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. I've Actually, only ever managed get... to get squeeze three in there. Yeah, you... I... No, but you see, you got two inside and then three or four on the outside that are helping to clean all the, all the mm, different yeah. things. Yeah. Have, you heard... Have you heard the town slogan for here? No, but I'm quite interested to hear it. It's hotter in black water. Oh, I do, I do like that. It kind of goes with the, it kind of goes with the blacksmithing thing yeah. too. It's kind of mm hot. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, usually I'm I smithing agree. without a shirt on. So. Oh yeah, it can get roasty. Yeah, problem is, uh, when I take my shirt on or off, everybody realizes that my right arm is much more defined than my left arm. Yeah, uh, oh. I always need to explain that. So. Yeah, well, you don't want people getting the wrong, the wrong perception. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's from it's from exclusively stroking the hammer. Yeah, the hammer. Mm -hmm. Uh, so so you're a lefty or a righty? Ah, uh, righty, righty. Ah. Uh, righty tighty. Lefty, lefty loses. not so loosey. Yeah, not so. Have you heard this other slogan? I, it's confusing me, and I haven't figured it out yet. It's called eggs on shoulders, knees on toast. Eggs, shoulders, knees, and toast. I, I think it's a breakfast thing. <laughs> Sounds mm. mighty tasty. I could, I could, I think I could get down with that. Yeah, I'm not well, sure what it's well, all she, about. She likes that lucky lube uh, on her toast. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a kind of jam they sell in mm -hmm. San Denis. Uh, I'll be honest, I um, I may or may not have bought in three hundred dollars worth of Lucky Lube from Doyle's. Oh my! Oh, is that for the blacksmithing stuff? Uh, no, no, I, I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the matter, Fanny? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh no, sorry. I was just uh, remembering a certain uh imagery I had in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, something to do with a jar, a piss and pickles, and some Lucky Lube. You know, I thought Please about I, I thought about getting the magic trick out for the parade, maybe doing it in the back of the wagon. Oh. <laughs> the problem is I don't know if the, uh, the items will stand up on the wagon. It might, uh, might fall down on the ground. Mm -hmm. I can see that happening. Uh, you, who was the gentleman in St. Denis that uh, wrote, was riding a donkey and uh, doing those uh, torches uh, uh, juggling? That was Mr. Dexton. We saw him doing his own private parade through the middle of St. Denis. He was riding a donkey backwards. And what was it he said? He said somebody told him to back his ass up in a freaky way. <laughs> so he found one. Mm. I dare say he did. I know Mr. Dexon as well, and he's a hoot and a riot. He, you know, he, he can he can back that ass up right into right into me all, all he wants. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll tell him. I don't know if he has that donkey still, but we'll we'll see. You should ask him what his opinion of Gerald is, because I believe Mr. Dexon has seen uh seen my wares. Oh, Gerald. All right, we'll ask.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> they may not know Gerald, but they know Cucumber Guy. The, cu the mm -hmm. Cucumber Guy? Is that... Wait a minute, we were just talking about pickles. Mm -hmm. Pickles and cucumbers are kind of related. Yeah, it just depends on how long you brew them. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's true. I have an old family recipe that I like. I like to uh, provision. Oh yes. Uh, so, do you like the sweet side of a pickle, or do you like the sour side of a pickle? Um. I, you know, I I I think the uh, the pickles that I purvey are the, some of the more uh, fragrant kind. Ooh, interesting. Mm -hmm. We we saw a pickle wagon. A friend of ours who sells produce went to the wagon store. You know that smart mouth little man that runs the mm -hmm. stables Thank and you. all those smart stuff to say. That he sold him a wagon that was the color of pickles. We called it the pickle wagon, and we thought it was hilarious. Was that Bruce? Yep. I'm glad to see you still kicking. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Mr. Then I didn't uh, interrupt you. But a pickle wagon. That yeah, sounds... it, was a, it was a very bright green. Mm -hmm. And we called it the pickle wagon, but it was a mistake. They painted it that color. I think they did it on purpose. He had to turn it back in and get one he liked. Uh, oh. Is it the very bright, almost kind of like a fluorescent green? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. really big too. It's got a it's got a tarp over it. Yeah, uh, Deputy Slim, or Sheriff Slim Pickens has one, and uh, you see him coming a mile away. Oh, a pickle wagon. Well, you mm -hmm. have to tell him that's a pickle wagon. Everyone knows it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, beautiful. I appreciate you all. I actually have uh, a bit of business to tend to. I hope that uh, sure. I hope you make it to Blackwater quite often. Oh, I hope mm. so, too. We've been here once before. We came with a group. We have a friend named Ethel. And, um... Mm, we have... Oh, Miss Ethel. I think and we... I've met her. I'm not entirely sure, though. I have a friend named Dippy as well, and we... Dippy oh. brought a whole group of us over here, but it was kind of quiet that day. I definitely know Dippy. That old bag a... is still kicking? Uh, well, we're... Uh, unfortunately, uh, we heard there was a mm. balloon accident. We, the last time we saw Dippy and Ethel, they went up, up, up in one of those giant heated balloons. And the next thing we know, we haven't seen them. Fan, Fanny? Yes? Does there need to be a balloon for the parade? <sighs> it might be a little stuffy, if you know what I mean. <sighs> I, I would love nothing more than that, but I what if, what if it the, was uh... What if it was just dragging across the ground? <laughs> Like a wagon? Just try it. It's a, a heated air wagon. <laughs> right. It costs a pretty penny, though. It costs like $400 to rent it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, might be worth it. I mean, I say go for it, right? But it just could, it could be a little scuffy, you know? It's going to be a lot of people there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't need that energy in my life tonight. I would love nothing more than to have one of them balloons collide with one of the wagons and set everybody to collide. I'm sure that would cause a laugh too. It tumbles, it tumbles into a bunch of people. Colton, oh. Colton would lose the mayorship. Mm. Oh no. Oh, drama. Speaking... Not drama at the parade. Uh, no, no drama at this parade. No. I mean, where there's fruit flies, there's always drama. <laughs> I am looking forward to this. This is going to be delightful. It is. Mm, I can't wait. Me either. I also have some preparations to get to you, so sure, I'm going to leave you lovely people here. It's wonderful However, to meet you both, Fanny and Gerald. I hope I see more of y'all in Blackwater. Ooh, maybe so. Hey, hey Fanny. Some more about these newfangled inventions going around. I know, this new modern stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fanny, I'd like to... Uh, yes? Use your outfit as a base and then try to match. Oh, do you want to ride on the wagon with us? Uh, well, I had my own, and uh, I'm having my own wagon. I think oh. Colton wants more wagons, so I should probably stick to my own. But if he's going to oh, dress right. up as a pirate, uh, what's your what's your favorite letter going to be? Q. My Q. I don't know. Yeah, it should, should be R. R, uh, you uh, pirate. I was going to say it, but I figured I'd give it to you. There's also C. You can't have pirates without C's, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one Fanny chose. 
Mm, I wasn't yeah. thinking about no C though. I was thinking about oh, one of my other choice. favorite things. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna um, leave that floating in the air right here. However, y'all love that people have a lovely day. I can't wait to see yes. that parade. Oh, yes. Yes. I appreciate it. It's been it's been lovely meeting the two of you. Lovely. You have a nice Stay day. Both of you. There was a little dog here, useless, and it's gone now. You said carrots? Mm. They might also right. be like, so. Well, this will keep the. Yep. Keep the electricity off of us just in case. We're gonna eat the carrots, alright? Let's get the carrots. Somebody is loud. I, I don't think so. Mm, it's keeping the sun off of my face. And the wind, and the dust, and the electricity. Mainly the electricity. 